guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley for any of those that are new today's video I'm doing a requested video I was asked to do a video about these bad boys right here these right here the braces today I am doing a video about braces and talking about my journey different myths that they have whenever you go to get braces things I wish I knew and some tips for you guys if you are thinking about getting braces so first off, my situation, when I had to get braces, um, obviously I'm an adult, I'm 25, about to be 26, and I got my braces actually 11 days after my birthday, so it was October 17th in 2017. So whenever I got them, my mouth was extremely crowded. Like when I say crowded, I have the smallest crowded mouth. And I had to actually get braces because of my wisdom teeth. My wisdom teeth came in late. They were pushing all my teeth together. It was causing fractures in my teeth. So I had to get all my wisdom teeth cut out. After that, I still had too much, like there was not enough room in my mouth for my teeth. So I had to get four more teeth pulled out. So I had a total of eight teeth removed whenever I first got my braces. And that is the first thing I want to tell you is if you have crowded mouth, you should probably expect to maybe get teeth pulled. Now, is there an issue with that? No, my teeth look perfectly fine. I'm almost at the end of my braces journey. And I so wish that I started this journey early with you guys. I wish I started my YouTube channel way earlier i started it in back in december actually on vlogmas the first day of vlogmas is when i started my channel so one thing i want to talk about is braces worth it to me braces was totally worth it i'm so glad i waited till i was an adult because they actually told me that if i would have got them when i was younger and my wisdom teeth would have came in it would have just jacked my teeth all up again so I'm actually really happy that I waited till I was an adult and I got to appreciate the money that I was spending on my teeth because my parents spent a pretty penny on my teeth when I was younger. I have bad teeth. It happens. I can't help it, but that's how it is. Also, another thing I want to talk to you about is whether you get the metal braces or the Invisalign, it's all the same thing, honestly. It all does the same thing. It all straightens your teeth. It's about a fact if you want to be able to take it out, if you want to keep it in, if you want people to see it. I honestly don't want to do Invisalign where you could take it in and out because I know I would be too lazy to put it back in and I would leave it out all the time and it would just take me longer. So that's why I did the metal braces. So this is my teeth now. Do I look pretty? Am I pretty? Tell me I'm pretty. Am I pretty? Some things that I wish I knew when I was going to get braces. First thing is a lisp. I already mumble. I have a little bit of a lisp. Braces make it worse. And it's not just the very beginning where you're like, oh man, this can be really bad. Your lisp is going to be pretty bad when you first get them. But you're still going to kind of have that lisp as the journey goes on. Some people might not. Some people do. I definitely do. You guys see me mumble sometimes on my YouTube channel. I've always been the type of person to mumble. The second thing, oh, the second thing, this is very important because the first time I went to actually get my braces tightened, I went to go eat afterwards and it was so painful. So expect not to eat when you go to get your braces tightened. Like the day of your appointment, do not expect to eat. I would go get a milkshake, you know, eat some soup, something soft kind of deal because your teeth are going to be so tender. Your your gums are going to be so tender, it's going to hurt to eat anything. So expect to eat ice cream or a milkshake, something soft the day of your appointment. Number three, coffee and soda are supposed to be a no-no. But if you know me, I love coffee. So what they actually request you to do is drink it through a straw. Did I listen half the time? No, I still drink coffee whenever I want to, but guess what? It's going to stain your teeth. And that's another point. Four, your teeth are going to be stained. Do not expect to whiten them. Don't expect, you know, them to be perfectly white. If you have perfect white teeth while you have braces, you are blessed because I definitely have some staining. I drink coffee every day. I can't help it. I need my caffeine. And if it's not that, then it's Red Bull or some tea. But yes, your teeth are going to stain. They will not be white. 
So expect them to have some staining. You can get them whitened after you get your braces taken off, which is something exactly that I'm going to do. So I'm going to go over some tips with you guys because um, I feel like maybe this might make it easier for some of you. If you're just thinking about getting braces, maybe some of these things might come in handy to you guys. Number one, bring lip balm or chapstick to your appointments because every time you go in for an appointment and they tighten your braces, they take out the wires and everything and your mouth is like wide open. And when it's like stretched out, your lips are going to be so chapped afterwards. Uh, and then people are like right there, like going into your mouth, tightening your braces and everything. So bring chapstick or like usually if I know I'm going to my appointment, I don't put nothing on my lips until after I'm done. After I'm done, if I want to put like lip gloss or something on, then I do it. I never do it before because people are going to get up in your mouth. They're going to be moving around. Your lips are going to get chapped. It's not worth it. Number two, the best thing I've ever discovered. It's really hard to floss, okay? Like you have to get in between every little bit. It's annoying. And honestly, it takes too much time for me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't floss like how I'm supposed to. But the best thing I found out is a water flosser. They are a, it's like a little miracle that you can get on Amazon. If I can find one, a link, I will have a link down below. But water flossers are great because you can clean in between your teeth. It can clean, you know, your brackets and stuff. Your teeth feel so clean afterwards. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever. And I probably will never use regular floss again. Judge me, don't judge me, don't come for me, but I love water flossers. Another tip is wax. Wax is going to be one of your best friends when you have braces. And if you go to your dentist and you, you should be able to ask them for wax and they should be able to give you some. If not, um, I believe Walmart has it, but you're going to need them because your brackets are going to scrape your braces and you're going to feel like you have shark teeth in your mouth. At least I did. Sometimes I still, you know, feel it and it'll just get very irritated. So wax is going to make your mouth feel so much more comfortable. It's going to make it to where you don't feel no scratchiness, no weird feeling between your brackets and your cheeks. So definitely wax is going to be one of your best friends. And I suggest you having a lot of it on hand. And then another tip I have for you is whenever you go to actually brush your teeth, and you, you know, if your teeth don't feel white, you could always use hydrogen peroxide. That's really good. You can actually do coconut pulling. I actually did coconut pulling for a while. And that is when you take a scoop full of coconut oil and you swish it in your mouth for a while before you brush your teeth. And it really helps loosen up that tar that's like around your gums and your teeth line it really helps loosen it up. So when you brush your teeth, it gets a lot of that gunk out of your like gums and everything. That I felt really helped. And then baking soda. Baking soda is another thing that I've used for a long time. Baking soda really helps. It also helps, you know, just with the, it's a little abrasive, but it's not like really abrasive. But if you do a little bit, it really helps with the staining as well. That's my suggestion. I don't know if you guys think the same thing. But coconut oil, hydrogen peroxide, and baking soda. They're all great things that you could add to your toothpaste whenever you're brushing your teeth. Another tip that I have for you guys is these brace picks right here. I got this from Walmart. These are so useful. They have like extra tiny ones for like really tight braces. And it's so helpful like if I'm at work and I eat lunch and I feel stuff in my brackets. I will use these and I will use it to clean in between my brackets and everything. And this is amazing. They really grab all the food. They help clean, you know, your teeth after you eat and stuff. During the day, if you feel something weird, I would definitely suggest getting some brace picks because these are going to be another one of your best friends right next to wax. These and wax hand in hand I'm telling you right now. And then my last tip for you guys, try all the colors. You're going to have braces for a while. You might as well try all the colors that you can because it's cool. I tried some weird colors and walked up in the office and people were looking at me like, 
Like they're just shining through and everyone could see them. But I loved it. I felt better knowing that I got to try all the colors than sitting there like, oh, I just want this one color all the time. So right now I'm like doing like the soft blues and like the grays and stuff like that. Cause I mean, obviously I have blue hair, but it's a lot of fun. Probably Halloween I might have like orange again, something like that, because I should be getting my braces off at the end of October, hopefully. So I got a few months to go and then I'm done. But that is all the tips that I have. And hopefully you guys, it might help you out. If not, I tried. But these are different things that I did. And then last is myths. The first thing I want to talk to you about, I got told all the time. And it made me so upset, honestly, because I was having trouble with my weight fluctuating. I got told that having braces, you're going to lose a lot of weight. Like, like, oh my God, you're going to have braces? Oh my God, you're going to lose so much weight. You're going to lose so much weight. You're going to look so good. Are you telling me I don't look good now? <laughs> yeah, people are going to tell you that. And I, the first thing I'm going to tell you is I did not lose my weight from my braces. I lost my weight from a diet. Like, this dress is really big on me now. Like, really big. But I like the top. It's cute. But it's really big. I did not lose the weight from the braces. I lost the weight from a diet. So, that whole myth about... Are you going to lose so much weight from having braces? No. You can still eat. And half the time, you just want to eat ice cream anyways. So, that's a whole big myth buster right there. Another myth is, oh, I'm going to have braces. I'm going to be ugly. I'm going to look dorky. I know I look like Lily from Princess Diaries, but honestly, this is the most like comfortable I've been with myself ever. I This is the most confident I've ever been is having braces because I used to never smile. I hated my smile. And now you're pretty much forced to smile 24 seven because when you move your mouth, people see them anyways. So you might as well embrace it. So if you have braces, you're not ugly. You're not, dor well, I'm kind of dorky, but you're not dorky, you're not weird, you, you know, you just got braces. It's a normal thing. And as an adult, you look cute as hell with braces. I feel cute as hell with braces. So embrace it. That's a whole myth. You're not ugly. Also, another myth. You can't kiss if you have braces. Oh, you're a bad kisser. Oh, you have braces? Oh my God, that must be so horrible kissing you. No, you kiss like normal. You barely tell. It's a little weird at first, but honestly, after a while, it's just like, it's normal. I mean, unless someone is sticking their tongue all up in your teeth, you you can't tell. So, you can definitely kiss. It's not going to affect your kissing. That's a whole nother myth right there. Busted. And then the last myth is your teeth shape are going to change. If you look at my teeth, they have not changed whatsoever. My teeth shape are the same way. There's... Nothing that's going to change about my teeth shape unless they like shave them down or something. But yeah, my teeth shape are still the same. Very same that they have always been. So that's a whole nother myth. Don't listen to that. It doesn't really change your face that much. Um, the only thing is it changes your talking for a little while with the lisp. That's it. The one thing that I will say really sucked when I got braces was with the teeth that were shifting, I actually had an infection and I had a huge abscess, which sent me to the hospital because my face was really swollen and that was a huge bill later. So sometimes that could happen. In my case, it did happen. If you're thinking about getting braces, it's so worth it. I will show you guys a before and after when I do my next update video whenever I get my braces off and uh, it was all worth it. I seen a huge change in my teeth and I am really a lot more confident than I've ever been. So if you're thinking about do it, go for it. But this is my braces journey so far and I'm just, I'm happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, by the way. I know it's different. It's not makeup and I'm talking the whole entire time. I love them. I love my braces. So I don't know how I'm going to feel, honestly, when this is all over. But 
I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope that it might have helped you in some way if you're thinking about getting braces, if you're going through having braces and maybe using some of my tips and stuff. I'm not too sure, but I'm actually really happy that someone requested this video because it's something different and it's something I wish I did earlier. So thank you for that. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you had braces, your experience with them, what you want me to do in a video next. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe because there'll be another video here next Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you so much as always for watching my videos. I appreciate you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.